Hello everyone, my name is Jamie Pacheco, and if you're trying to be more productive and energetic throughout the day, then it all starts with your morning routine. Now, if you have a difficult time getting up in the morning, some of the things I'm about to talk about are gonna be challenging for you. But if you listen to some of the tips and tricks that I've learned along the way, I promise you that it's gonna be a lot easier for you to get up in the morning, and it'll help lead to a more energetic and productive lifestyle. And if you are new to my channel, thank you very much for watching. Please hit the subscribe button as I will continue to put out content every single week on personal development, lifestyle, grooming, fashion, even fitness. But more importantly in today's video, I'm going to talk about some of the tips and tricks that will help you lead a more productive and energetic life and how it all starts with your morning routine. All right, so the first thing you got to do is you got to get up and you got to get out of bed. And one easy way to do that is move your alarm clock. If you're the type of person that likes to snooze over and over again, then moving the alarm away from the bed is a simple and effective way for you to get up out of bed, turn the alarm off, start your day so you can be more productive and have more energy throughout the day. Look, I'm not gonna say it's easy. In fact, I used to snooze all the time, but the more consistent I became with it, the easier it was for me to get up out of bed and start my day to be more productive. The next tip in the morning routine that I like to do once I get out of bed, make your bed. It's an easy thing to do. I take advice from Admiral William McRaven and what he said in his commencement speech to the University of Texas. And he said, and I quote him by saying this, if you make your bed every morning, you will have accomplished the first task of the day. It will give you a small sense of pride and it'll encourage you to do another task and another, and another. By the end of the day, that one task completed will have turned into multiple tasks completed. Making your bed will also reinforce that the little things in life matter. And if you can't do the little things right, then you're not gonna be able to do the big things right. And if by some chance you have a miserable day, you can come home to a bed that's made, that you made, and it'll give you a sense of encouragement that tomorrow will be a better day. So I encourage you to make your bed every morning. If you haven't had a chance to see Admiral William McRaven's commencement speech to the University of Texas, I'll put his link down below. In my opinion, it's one of the best speeches ever written. So after I get done making my bed, I love to head downstairs and get a nice cold glass of water. I really like to drink water in the morning because it'll increase your energy levels. Water increases your red blood cell counts and it also increases the oxygen you receive to the brain. It helps boost your metabolism. It also helps ease with aches and pains that you might be having. It does definitely give you a clearer complexion and more radiant skin and it bites off toxins. Water is good for you. Drinking water provides numerous health benefits and that's why I like to start off the morning by drinking water. The next thing I like to do in the morning after I have a nice glass of water is to get a good solid workout in. Working out has been part of my lifestyle for the past 20 to 25 years, but unfortunately I'm not able to go to a gym because in my state, our gyms are still closed, unfortunately because of COVID. So for now, what I do is I work out in the garage. After getting a full night of sleep, use that energy in the morning to get in a workout. And if you're used to working out in the evening, I challenge you to work out in the morning and see how productive you'll be throughout the day. Getting in an early morning workout offers numerous benefits both to your health and to your daily schedule that exercising throughout other parts of the day just can't provide. And yes, you have to be disciplined to wake up early. And yes, you have to be focused on achieving an effective workout and not just go through the paces in a zombie-like state. But in just a little time with some practice, you'll start to see that it becomes more of a routine and more of a habit for you in the morning. I like to do my morning workouts in the garage and I use the tonal system when I work out. And I'm not saying you need to get a tonal system. This is what I ended up purchasing during the pandemic to help me to continue with my workouts because all of our gyms were closed. The tonal system, it looks like a vertical TV screen that attaches to the wall. It has two arms that look like the standard arms of a weight machine and it can be stowed away when not in use. It uses digital weights that provide me with a strength-based workout and the screen shows me workout videos as well as the progress that I'm doing throughout the workout. I actually enjoy using the tonal system System, and if anyone watching is interested to learn more about it, I'll put a link in the bottom of my page for you to view. So after I finish my morning workout, I've got a good sweat, I feel pumped, ready to start my day. That's when I head upstairs and I take a shower. Now notice I didn't say take a cold shower. I know a lot of people recommend taking a cold shower because of the benefits for you, but what I do is a little different. I take a warm shower followed up by a cold shower, and here's why. Being in warm water effectively helps relieve body tension and can help soothe muscle fatigue. Warm showers can also help open up the pores of the skin, which allows you to clean out the trapped dirt and oil. But follow that warm shower by cooling off with some cold water at the end of the shower. When that cold spray of water hits your body, there'll be a bit of a shock, but that shock is going to increase your oxygen intake, your heart rate, and your alertness. The cold shower will help reduce any muscle soreness after a morning workout, so it's always good to end with a cold shower before you get out. That's all I have for today's video. If you enjoyed my morning routine and some of the tips and tricks that I do to stay productive and more energetic throughout the day, then I challenge you to do the same. Please leave some comments below and let me know how it goes for you. And if you also like this video, please hit the subscribe button. Also hit the like button and I look forward to seeing you guys in the future.